Alright y'all, welcome back to the channel. Right now we're about to hop into that Chloe boy bye. Let's hop straight into it. Hold on, I like this. Nah, she. Nah, hold on. Let's, hold on, start this over. I like this. I like this. Hold on. Hold on. Damn, hold on, huh? She got her friends out there throwing out his shit. Damn, damn. But already, just based off the first part, it kind of sounds like this. This is this was a relationship where, first of all, let's think about it. She said, "I was always loyal. I always loyal. You taking the fall, you know. You was together. You was never involved. So basically, he wasn't fully committed, you know. And then she said, "Let's be honest. It was never my fault." So it's like that goes back to the first line where she was like, "Um, I was loyal. Always taking the fall." It was like people tend to take falls for situations that's not even their fault just to boot past it. Cause some people just can't let shit go, and that's cool. You could talk about the situation until you know y'all got you guys have an understanding about it. Cool, but it seems like every time there was a situation, she took the fall for it, even when it wasn't her fault. You know? Yeah, come on, man. So now it's like this is basically her like acknowledging or telling him everything that went wrong or the stuff that he was doing and stuff like that. I'm guessing, and now it's like, nah, it's too late for that. See, he, he he don't he don't even look like he care because when she threw his clothes inside the uh the um what's the thing called um uh, when you having a barbecue uh what's the uh when she when uh, I forgot the name of those things but right here when she threw his clothes right here when she threw his clothes in there bro didn't even he didn't even look like he cared so mind you it sound like you wasn't I don't know it sound like you didn't treat her right in a way and now it's like you don't even care because mind you she said um what she said um let me go back. Yeah, she said you playing pretend. So now it's like, what you, what you was pretending to be? A boyfriend, friend, somebody just just wanted to be around her. Like you was pretending, my guy. Bro, bro mistreated her, lied to her, man manipulated her, and all that, all that 
other goofy stuff that motherfuckers be knowing to to people, you know? So now she's saying, this is her way of saying goodbye from a toxic ass relationship that probably, that basically didn't do nothing for her, but kind of like brung her down in a way. And this is her basically saying bye. And she on the road with her friends and they driving off into the, well, I was going to say sunset, but the sun not even shining, but you get the point. Hold on. I just realized she said user unavailable. I should have known. So when you call this phone, it always said user unavailable. Damn. So it's kind of like his phone was off or he blocked you and then unblocked you when it was like convenient for him. And then she said, oh, and then it's like the times they was on the phone always said, I got to go. I got to go. Like, yeah. I just said that. I just said that. I just said that. A roller coaster ride. We going round and round. I might just cut and run. Cause this just ain't that fun. I know I love you much. But this time I swear I'm done. Hold on, I'm on, I'm, on, I'm on your ass, Chloe, because you just said that you don't even cry. It, that look like a tear. Hold on, now I'm on your ass. That better not be a tear. Hold on. Hold on. I'm on your ass now because you just lied. Nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. But basically, I understand why she's crying because it's, it's the fact that, I guess, um, it's not always the part about, you know, the person mistreating you, but it's like f you finally get into a point in your life where you could like, move on and be like goodbye like it's every it's like it's gonna be a fresh start from you like you can start over or whatever the case may be it's not always a person crying because of what the person did because they probably already cried them tears away so now this is just her last cry on the goodbye stage like letting the go part but yeah you said that you wasn't crying chloe i'm on your ass i rock with you i'm on your ass now Hold on, hold on, because now she got a bunch of women. F-boy, f by, I downgraded for you. Damn, damn, damn. She said, I downgraded for you. Damn, hold on. What we got here? Hold on, I got to, hold on, I'm trying to see. Oh, no, nah, we got to put this all the way up here. F-boy, I downgraded for you. What else they say? You got the, you got the, I don't know what this says, but you got the, you got the stop sign, the, uh, the cross out on this one. Boy, bye. You tried it. Wow. Yo, she got you tried it. Yo, I remember everybody used to everybody used to say that you tried it. You tried it. Nobody really say that no more, though. You know? Yeah, but one part I do like when she was like uh, building up the anxiety because it's like when you get on the phone, you get on the, uh, when you already have thoughts of somebody doing something behind your back. And like she said, you can go back to effort on that girl you was doing on the low. Basically, it's like she kind of already knew, I guess, maybe. But it's the fact that when you on the phone with somebody and they always constantly say they got to go. Mind you, these people used to be on the phone with people the whole night, the whole day, hours. But when it's you now, it's like, oh, I got to go, I got to go. That builds up the anxiety because you overthinking things now. And it's like, what the fuck could you possibly be doing that you always got to go on the phone? You know? So, yeah, I just wanted to add that. But anyways, shout out to my girl, Chloe, doing her thing like always. And I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Like, subscribe, comment, turn on your bell notification so you're notified every time I drop a video. And until then, I'm going to catch you guys in the next one. Peace. We out. We gone.